Hi, it's me, Sweet Pea the Friendly Alien, and I have some very sad news to tell you. Amanda's beloved cat, Tammy, has passed away, and it's been pretty hard not having Tammy here, because both Amanda and I really loved her a lot. She was one of our best friends, and... It's sad to not have her around here anymore physically. I think that's the thing that I miss the most about her, is her physical body and her fur, and how she smelled, and the fact that her tongue was really soft because she was so old. Her little cat, rough cat tongue had smoothed out over the years, so if she were to lick cheese off of your finger, her little tongue would be really soft. I really miss that a lot. And I also miss her stinky little breath. She had stinky breath because she was an older cat. And even though it was kind of stinky, I liked it because it was just kind of cute. And I knew that it was Tammy. There's been a few times where I thought that I smelled that breath and I thought maybe she was around. <laughs> Amanda's had a lot of signs that Tammy Cat might actually still be in the house um, on a spiritual level. I feel her a lot. Amanda's had a little bit of a harder time because since she's human, when humans grieve, sometimes they miss the physical so much that they're not able to really connect to the spiritual until they've had time to release all of the pain of their own physical body at the loss of physically losing someone so close and precious as Tammy was to Amanda. But she's had several signs that have been pretty neat. She did a little online memorial for Tammy and she, uh, soon after, she noticed that on a picture that was sitting where Tammy used to like to sleep, there was a moth on the picture, and it stayed there for seven hours. It was right on her picture, and the thing that was the neatest about it was that that moth had black, gray, and white markings, just like Tammy can. And yesterday, Amanda had to go to the bat with Bobo, and she was a little afraid the night before that it would be triggering to go to the vet after having just gone there with Tammy not too long ago. And so she cried, and she prayed, and she tried to connect with Tammy's spirit, and she got up from her seat and looked over to where she was sitting and right over her right shoulder was another little moth and it was gray with white with little bitty white and black specks on it so we're pretty certain that that was tammy cat letting amanda know that she's here and she's doing okay and that just because she's not here physically doesn't mean that she's not here spiritually and how fun is that? Because that means that Tammy can go with Amanda wherever she is. Now, one thing about this experience of losing Tammy was that it happened in Amanda's arms. She died naturally in Amanda's arms. And it was really a very special thing because it happened over at Chris's house and he had done some laying on of hands right beforehand and we're pretty sure that that helped Tammy know that she could release her body and it's like Tammy knew that Amanda had Chris there with her and she wouldn't be all alone once Tammy died. I think that sometimes people like Amanda who live alone can get very, very bonded with our animals because it's the primary other living source in the house. And so life bonds with life. And, you know, also 
I think that Tammy was the little spirit guide for Amanda during a very important time. And so, it's just been really hard. I miss her a lot. Another thing that was super cute was that Isis, Amanda's other cat, she's been sleeping on the area where Tammy is buried, and she even brought a mouse and laid it on her grave. <laughs> it made Amanda really happy to see that Isis was honoring Tammy and also keeping her company. If you ever lose a pet friend, or even a human friend, don't be afraid to ask for signs because their spirit will send you signs and that can help you feel more connected. Also, don't be afraid to grieve. Grief is a very physical emotion and that energy has to be released. If you hold on to it, it'll just stay with you and it'll block yourself from joy and love and healing. When you're grieving a lost friend, it can be really helpful to talk about all of your feelings as they come up. And it might take a little while. You might have to talk a whole lot. Chris has been really helpful to Amanda, and I'm pretty sure that her being able to talk to him so much is helping her move through the painful parts and onto the neat spiritual experiences that she's been able to receive since she's let go of so much of the hurt and the loss and the anger that also naturally accompanies the grief process. So if you've lost a friend or a relative or a pet friend, then let yourself talk about it. Don't keep it all inside because you need support and you need to feel heard and received and connected to another person who understands how you feel. I know there's a lot of you out there who love cats too, and so I just wanted to make this video to let you know that I'm getting to know cats also, and to remind you that if you do have a cat, then maybe you should just kind of, I don't know, hang out with it and learn from it and let it know that you love it, because if there's one thing I've learned, Cats love humans. Bye. <laughs>